Hi there, I'm Yvonne, a children's librarian here at the Manchester City Library, and you have found our Junior Craft Weekly Craft video for our Oceans of Possibility Summer Reading Program. Uh, so our Junior Crafts are grades 3 to 6, so if you are in that group and have signed up for our Summer Reading Program, which runs from June 20th to August 13th, um, then go ahead and find your craft bag and pull out week number uh, three, craft. Um, and if you haven't signed up yet and you are in that age group, then go sign up and pick up your craft bag so you can do this along with us. Um, and if none of those things are true, then you can still stay and watch if you would like. We don't mind. All right, so remember, we are working on week three in this video which means it's going to look something like this. Um, and you're also going to want to find um, some glue, some scissors, and um, some coloring materials of your choice um, to put this together today. So let's gather all that and we'll meet back here. All right, so I have got some glue, I've got some scissors, um, and I have got some markers and crayon. Brought those are all from home. And then of course I have my kit, which there is a white pom-pom. There should be six jumbo um, craft sticks or popsicle sticks, whatever you want to call them. We're going to have two uh, pink triangles. We're going to have two uh, oyster shell halves and we're going to have um, a gray rectangle as well. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do first is we're going to take our um, three three of our six um, popsicle sticks and we're actually going to make a triangle um, and we're going to go ahead and get some glue on these so that they have some time to dry while we're doing everything else. Right, and you just want to line these up so that um, all of the very very edges um, right here like where they curve that they're like nicely placed together. Okay, and then we're gonna set that aside to dry and we're just going to repeat with the second one. Now, while those are drying, um, we're gonna go ahead and um, we are going to cut out the oyster shell and the two pink triangles. Um, so some of it might look like it's kind of cut out already, we really want to cut out right along the lines here and like here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that we cut out right around those. All right. Okay. So next we're going to uh, take our two um, pink triangles and we're going to take our popsicle sticks franks, which have been drying. Um, if they need more time to dry, um, definitely let them sit more. But I think I'm going to go ahead. What we're going to do is we're going to glue um, our pink triangles onto the frame that we've made. So it's going to look like that. We're going to put our glue um, along the outside of the wood frame and then put on the paper. All right, so now we're going to take our um, the shells of our oyster and we're going to make sure that um, they line up so when we open it and close it, the edges line up. Because if they don't line up, if you do it the wrong way, you're going to make it, it's going to end up looking like that. We don't want that. Yeah, so we're going to make sure that they line up and we're going to open it. And now we're going to go ahead and glue um, the inside of our oyster onto the gray. 
All right, so we're taking the back of our oyster um, triangle and we're putting it onto our shell. Now, if you want to do um, a lot of decorating to your shell, um, you might actually want to um, color it before you um, glue on the, the pink and the popsicle stick inside. Uh, but, but I'm just going to add some details with markers at the end, so it's not a big deal um, for me to have the popsicle sticks in here. Okay. Let's do the second side. All right, so now we're going to find uh, that um, gray rectangle. Um, so this is going to be the hinge of our shell. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the shell and we're going to close it like this. We're going to choose a side. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, glue the paper on to one half. And then we're just going to wrap it around and glue it on the other side um, while the oyster is closed. Okay, so now we've got um, our oyster shell with the oyster interior. So I have my um, coloring materials that I got from home. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, add some small details. So I'm going to um, make the designs on the oyster shell. Um, and then we'll just have one more step. Okay. So as you guys may know, oysters um, are actually sea creatures um, and they can grow in um, like tide pools or low levels um, in the ocean, um, which is what we are talking about this week in general in our sea powered stories. And when they get a little bit of sand or something else that, that kind of bothers them inside of their shell, they slowly will build up layers of a substance, the same kind of thing that makes up their shells. They'll cover the grain of sand in it in layers and layers and layers until you get a pearl. Um, and that is how we get pearls in oysters. And of course, our pearl is maybe not as pretty because it's just a, um, whoop, it's just a little pom-pom, but it's still really fun. So we can put our pearl in our oyster um, and then it can be hidden away for someone to find. All right, I hope that you really like this craft. Um, I think it's kind of fun, um, and it's fun to learn about uh, a little bit about some of the creatures in our oceans as well. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me for uh, this week's junior craft, which is grades three through six um, for the Manchester City Library Summer Reading Program. Um, I hope that you had a lot of fun. Um, I, do, I do want to remind you guys to record your reading minutes if you are a part of the um, summer reading program. Um, even though you do have until August 13th, um, this year we are having raffles every week. So um, you want to get your points in and then your tickets picked up and signed and put in the correct buckets every week um, if there is something that you want um, being raffled off that week. So uh, pay attention to that. Um, also remember to check out our Read Squared app um, for the extra missions, which will get you extra points for the program, as well as any book recommendations if you thought, hey, you know, oysters are pretty cool and I wanna learn some more about tide pools and stuff like that. Uh, we definitely have books that you can look into. Um, I will see you again next week, same time, same place. Um, but until then, I will say bye. Bye, guys.